Yes, so this is our wonderful special Christmas season episode that Simeka carry some wonderful, wonderful recipe. Come for now. Today, on top of the show, wait till they cook and they make things with goat meat. And I know, say, when Christmas reach that time, Baba go buy goat meat. Some go use chicken, some go use big cow. Even bush meat self. So, but today, now the goat meat part I want to show now. So, two things we will do use goat meat do for Christmas. Now they show now. They definitely, you know, I know say they do goat meat for soup. Now go put the goat meat inside. So you know, go use and cook the jollof rice. So different things. You know. But cut to the chase. For the next five weeks, my people, make you not know, just stick with me because different, different Christmas recipe. Three every day when you see me on top of this show. Now you go see for the next five weeks. They are ready for this holiday season. So today, now go to the profile and what I get for here for my goat curry. Where I they make? I get goat meat. If you want, buy goat meat. Don't forget to tell them, say, now that one way they quick they done, now you want the male one. If me, yeah, the male goat. Now they quick done. Tell them, say, now you won't buy if you know they buy the full one. So just tell them. So I get oil for here, grated coconuts, now in there here. I get green pepper, I get onions, I get pepper, I get tatashe, I get curry leaf, I get thyme, I get curry, I get salt, I get garlic seasoning powder. I get bay leaf, spring onions, they here as well. Any other thing while they add for inside this goat curry sauce what I won't make today, I go let you know. know. So make we quickly start to cook this at the time one. I go hurry. Go call all our friends and family, mama, papa, auntie, uncle, and all the children where they house this at time one. I won't take sit down. Foodies and spice won't start. <laughs> Now well, welcome back. So now the goat curry now I want to start. So the first thing I get here now goat meat, I go need to put them inside my pot. Now I go begin to season the goat meat. Now onions I hold so I'll add some onion. So I don't go cover them yet because I won't make the um, goat meat dry out a bit. So I'm not gonna cover them yet. Go use in water, dry out a bit. So the next thing we are gonna do is to add some salt for taste. Thyme, like two leaves. I'll add some of this garlic and ginger seasoning. And some curry. So I'll allow it to dry out before I'll add other things and cover it. But for now, I'm not covering it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now is to blend my coconut. This is a normal coconut. I break them, I bring out the coconut from inside. So I won't get my coconut milk because coconut milk, they are more waiting. I need to take cook this goat meat curry. So I just grate the coconut. All you need to do is use your normal grater. You grate the coconut. So I put the coconut inside my blender. 
I'll add like two cups of this. So approximately two cups of water. And I'll take it to the blender. Okay, so my coconut milk is ready. Just put the coconut inside your blender, add this water where you need to take. Cook them, blend, 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 and you will get the coconut milk. What I will do now is to pour them inside, sieve, sieve the water so that I will come out the shaft, use the milk itself to cook the food. Just before I sieve it, I need to turn this. Okay, so now, now to sieve this coconut water. I've got curry. We won't make with the coconut milk. So I'll quickly check on my goat's meat. Remember, so I said you find that browning. I will begin to slice every other thing and by the time you come back, we will start to put everything together. Don't forget, I tell you say now three recipes each week. Yeah, so our goat meat pepper soup see day around. Alright, welcome back. You got me done dry. And now it's time to be adding my vegetables. I'm going to do spring onions, that remaining onion, my green pepper and red pepper together. And now the very hot habanero pepper. Where we they call Osensuka or yellow pepper, the hot one there. Yes, I don't go use hand packer, I go take spoon. <laughs> all right. Now, pepper, I said, always they talk according to your taste. Okay, so I don't put all my vegetables and my pepper, and it's time for me to turn it now. This is looking very beautiful. All right. Now, I will add my coconut milk. If you never cook with coconut milk before, you really need to. It's very, very nice. So my coconut milk now won't enter. So this is gonna be Christmas like no other. Very, 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 very lovely. Christmas like no other. Mm. So I really need to cook, cook so well and reduce, mm? so that all the flavors go come out. This is the part where I add a little bit of oil. Say half cooking spoon. Now is to add my curry. Add a little more curry, of course it's coconut curry. So I'll just cover it and allow it to cook down completely. So while it's doing that, we're going to prepare for the goat meat pepper soup things. But don't forget, before we bring this one down, curry leaf will go last and any other adjustment of seasoning will be done here. So that is that. See you soon. Welcome everybody. Our goat's meat, they reduce. Looks good. It don't reduce to that point where we say, I feel comfortably add my carrots. The carrot will add a little bit of sweetness to the goat meat. Welcome everybody. Yes, our curry sauce done reduced completely. Now I will just quickly add the last thing, the curry leaf, and stir. And surprise, surprise, my coconut water. <laughs> you know when you break that coconut, that one that they tell you say if you drink calm, say you no go no book for school. Yeah, so we are not drinking it. We are cooking with it. So I just add um, a bit to lighten up the sauce. And here we are. Our goat's meat curry is ready and beautiful. Very beautiful. Oh, the next way we want to cook now, now our goat's meat pepper soup. This one done ready. Time to test them. We're going to use white rice. 
eat them. Because for Christmas, rice is there everywhere. This is lovely. Mm. Lovely. Let's allow this one rest in a corner. Hey, for the holics, yeah. Christmas is in the air. You're all welcome. So I think I quickly show on us some kind of easy recipes we're feed they use for this Christmas period. You know, no say Christmas holiday, people they plenty for house. Uncle go travel, come from Lagos. The ones where they come from the abroad, all of them go arrive. So once in a while, the good make you just they change the kind of recipe you need for your Christmas kitchen. Yeah. So for my Christmas kitchen today, we think that they show on now to take ready for Christmas. Now goat meat curry sauce, goat meat pepper soup and of course Nigerian easy chapman very very easy recipes to make you see most people they buy full goat meat when Christmas is already so rather than just use a cooking soup or use a cooking stew other things they will if you use and do everybody savvy pepper soup and if you need more pepper soup recipe I beg enter www.youtube.com slash Gina Ehikodi you will see my pepper soup recipes there today we they make very simple one we just pre-made pepper soup spice now all you need to do now wash your goat meat cut them into biteable chunks then take more whippers go feed just eat one time chew one time on the way go they drop yes then you put out for fire Put onions on top, season now with salt. Allow and cook it in water, make it come down. When you don't cook it in water, finish, come down. The next thing you want to do, now to add the spice, add seasoning, you cover them. Then, if you add any of your aromatic herbs, like basil leaves or curry leaves, then you will come let and simmer, make it calm down. Once you don't simmer to calm down, then you serve. Now, sometimes the water, it dry, it never soft. If you water dry, say it never soft. What you need to do now to add small water inside to cook up to make sure say it's soft. So now very easy pepper soup. Ah, and then they call pepper soup without pepper. I beg, make sure say you add pepper to your taste. If you want make it hot, we're like, eh, oh, put enough pepper. But if you want make it today mild, you put that smaller CD. So now so be our pepper soup matter today. My guest today are a very very beautiful girl. I actually get one sister. Yes, my mama bought four of us, two boys and two girls. So my sister Vicky now be our guest today. And she's getting married or she just got married. So I am so excited because Vicky don't they live with me for a very long time. We live for the same house as a uh, picking of the same papa and mama. Then as we come they grow, they go different schools, they still come back, we always they come house together to spend Christmas. But this is going to be officially our last Christmas living together in the same house. If she go come Christmas again, then I'll be saying a holiday she come. Or if I will come Christmas for her own side, then I'm saying a holiday too, I come. So I call her today, may she be my guest, make I wish her a very happy married life. For Nigeria, it is very, very compulsory. Say during Christmas, you must buy mineral. Mineral must stay. So you know sometimes in case say the mineral are not plenty, you feel just add, add, add and make this beautiful Nigerian cocktail with them they call Chapman. It's very easy for you to make in your house. Very, very easy. All you need now, jug, fizzy drink, that's any mineral where they bubble, bubble, they have fizzy drink. This now, orange juice, if you use pineapple juice if you want, but any juice is just fine. I get this Angostura bitters. This is very, very good for your um, Chapman. And I get grenadine. Any of these things, if you see them inside supermarket, buy your big shopping malls. And of course, my new cocktail cup. Then I welcome to the Feliz and Spice Kitchen. Yeah, so we get them here. Amazing jazz, really, where they used to do um, cocktail cups these days. So this is now my jar and I will quickly add the juice, the fizzy drink, just a dash of Angostura bitters, that's okay, and a dash of grenadine. Now this particular grenadine syrup. Now raspberry, strawberry, and black currant. Nine. Then you do this one. Different um, 
syrup day, pomegranate syrup day. So, but this one, now raspberry, strawberry, and black currant syrup. So, I just feel a dash dash is okay. So, I'll just take something to stir and not get my cocktail stirring thing here. So, you see, it's so beautiful. You can decide to add more for more color, anyhow, you want it. And I will pour into my jar. And decide to add a little more of the grenadine syrup without stirring just for some fizzy. See that color it gives you under. Very lovely. I will take my straw. A red straw will be okay. And yeah, my cocktail umbrella. This is my cocktail umbrella. So I'll add my cocktail umbrella using the green one. And here we are. We have beautiful cocktail for Christmas. You love, so this is your simple Chapman. Just a few ingredients. Um, orange juice I use, mineral, fizzy mineral, use the transparent ones. Um, angostura bitters and a little bit of grenadine and mm, yummy you cannot pack your eyes on top eyes block on top so i'll be freezing this i don't get eyes blocked today so i'll just freeze it Time for us to eat, and of course, I already introduced my younger sister Vicky and my sister with this. Hi, <laughs> yeah, and guess what? My sister is also going to be Mrs. Ojo. You sure she's Mrs. Ojo already because she has done one part of the marriage, another part of the marriage is coming. So, my sister is also going to be Mrs. Ojo. I am Mrs. Ojo, and she's Mrs. Ojo. And you guys would think maybe we are getting married to this in the same family. No, our Ojos are not even from the same state. Yeah, hers is another state, mine is another state, and anytime I say this girl likes to do whatever I did, believe me, she likes to do it. I have full mentor. Yeah, I agree. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our kids are going to be cousins bearing the same surname. Mm -hmm. How fun is that? Much fun. All right, um, this is my Christmas Chapman. Yeah. Can we toast to a very happy married life for you? I wish you plenty of twins, plenty of money, Amen. lots and lots of good things. Amen. We will grow old happily in marriage. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we need to talk to that. See you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Mm. So, nice. Mrs. Ojo, let's eat the goat curry. It so really looks nice. Yeah, you know, in, in Christmas, it's always rice and stew or fried rice. Yeah, so. Long. Tomatoes rice, so this is good curry. Mm. Very nice. The coconut, mm. the hint of the coconut. Mm. Mm. I think it's the coconut. Coconut. Very nice. And I've got me. That's burnt from the goat milk. Lovely. Mm. Guys, please try your own for Christmas. That's why I had to do it early before Christmas Day. Try your own. You will love it. You will love it. We will go now and this is me wishing you happy Christmas in advance to get all your things ready for Christmas. And Vicky, this is me wishing you a very happy married life. Thank you. I love you so much. I'm going to miss you. The twins are going to miss you. Yeah, this is their auntie. Like anytime she comes back from work, they stay with her, stay in her room. And now she's leaving to her husband's house. 
they will come visit for holiday. Quickly give them cousins, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, see you next week. Don't forget another three wonderful recipes getting us ready for Christmas. I love you all so much. Bye.